I would like to discuss on formation of a mechanism for signing of MOUs. Consulates, ministries, agencies, and sometimes even foreign countries want to sign memorandum of understanding with the state governments. However, there have been instances very, where necessary clearances, no objection that have to be given by the Ministry of External Affairs getting delayed. Hence, I ask that a suitable simplified mechanism be formulated by the government of India to allow the state governments to enter into MOUs with other countries, their ministries, agencies, especially in the sectors of investment promotion, strengthening academia, industry network, etc. Now, I would like to talk on the energy front in Tamil Nadu. Tamil Nadu has been pioneer in promoting renewable energy source, which are eco-friendly and non-exhaustive. I would like to request the Honorable Union Home Minister that, one, the Electricity Amendment Bill 2022 may be withdrawn on the state-owned distribution licenses, be allowed to continue to supply quality power at affordable rates to the people. Second, the Raikar, Pugalur, Tirishur, and 800 kilowatt HVDC system may be declared as an asset of national and strategic importances so as to avoid traffic, so as to avoid tariff shock to southern regional states. Third, the under travel limit up to 500 megawatt. The renewable energy rich state may be benefited by receiving the amount from pool account at under percent of normal rate. Finally, it may be insisted for carrying out the annual other holding program and refueling of nuclear power, power points during the wind season, June and July only for better renewable energy integration. Tamil Nadu has the highest offshore wind potential of 27 gigawatt in the country. Hence, offshore wind machines can be operated with higher efficiency compared to all other sources. Tamil Nadu is willing to procure all the power generated through offshore wind. As the allocation of blocks for offshore wind energy is with the Ministry of New and Renewable Energy, I request that action may be expedited for the allocation of blocks for offshore wind energy in Tamil Nadu. On the internal security front, Tamil Nadu government is keeping strict constant vigil and maintaining public order and communal harmony efficiently. Hence, it is suggested that real-time information, if any, on the internal security aspects may be shared and I suggest a better coordination among intelligence chiefs of southern states. I appeal to my brother chief ministers to work along unitedly on this front. We, the southern states share many things in common. Our culture and languages have many similarities and long history. All of our languages belong to the same family called the Dravidian family. It was proved by Robert Caldwell in his work. A comparative grammar of the Dravidian or South Indian family of languages. I appeal to all my brothers here that we should function unitedly with the spirit of brotherhood among us in the path of Yadum Ure Yavarum Kelir. With this love and harmony, we can solve all problems and march in the path of progress and development unitedly. Before concluding, I wish to state that the Tamil Nadu may be given the opportunity to host the next Southern Zone Council meeting. Thank you.
நன்றி வணக்கம் உடனுக்குடன் செய்திகளை தெரிந்து கொள்ள சென் நியூஸ் பெல்லைக்கான கிளிக் பண்ணுங்க